For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, a signal source that is most conveniently represented by Steven in equivalent has a VS equal to 10 millivolt and an RS is equal to 1K. Right off the bat, it's always better to draw these things to start visualizing the problem. So they tell you we got VS, we tell you we got a 7 in equivalent, so we got VS, RS. If the source fits a low resistance RL, RL, find the voltage VO, VO will be obviously here, VO, that appears across a load for RL equals to all these different resistances. And then find the lowest permissible RL so that the output voltage is 80% of the source voltage. So, you know that Vs is equal to 10 millivolts and you know that Rs is equal to 1K ohms. And then they're gonna give you all these different values. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a little table. So we got Rl, different values of Rl. And then we got different values of Vl. And I'm gonna put them in volts and VL in millivolts so we need to find VO for all these different values of RL. RL can be either 100k, can be 10k ohms, can be 1k or it can be simply 100 ohms we need to come up with a formula for VO. So VO is equal to simply, we're gonna use voltage divider. Voltage divider, when you're doing voltage divider, you're gonna, to find VO, you're gonna multiply the source voltage times the resistance across where the voltage is being calculated, RL, over the total resistance of the circuits in series, which is RL plus RS, RL plus RS. We're going to replace some values for what we know. We know Vs to be 10 millivolts, 10 milli. RL is the variable one, so RL we're just going to leave as RL over RL plus and RS we know to stay at 1K. So all you got to do is plug in these different values into this formula and you're going to get the different values in volts in regular volts because if the voltage is in milli and the resistance is you're gonna do in k notice that let's do here's 0.1 k ohms i just converted the 100 ohms to 0.1 k ohms so they're all in case and i don't gotta be thinking about the formula this is in k and this is in milli milli times k is gonna cancel out and it's gonna give you the answer in regular volts these are the units milli millivolts kilo um, i'm sorry millivolts kilo ohms this is ohms millivolts times kilo ohms gives you regular volts because the milli cancels with the kilo and it meets right in the middle so when you plug in these different values you're going to get the following values for 100k when you plug it into this formula we're plugging all these values into this formula gives you 0.0099 volts should give you plug it into your calculator and try to follow me when you plug in 10k into the formula you're gonna get 0 0.00909 volts. If you plug in the 1k, you should get 0 0.005 volts. And if you plug in the 0.1k or 100 ohms, you should get 0 0.00909 volts. And when you convert it to millivolts, all you need to do is move the decimal place one, two, three spaces, and you get 9.9 .9 millivolts. One, two, three spaces, you get 
9.1 millivolts, 1, 2, 3 spaces, you get 5 millivolts, and 1, 2, 3 spaces, you get 0.91 millivolts approximately. So as you can see, the lower the resistance, the lower the voltage drop across RL, which means the lower the output voltage of the source. And as you can see, the answers are consistent with the answers given in the book. <coughs> now, they want you to find the lowest permissible value for RL so that the output voltage is at least 80% of the source voltage. Just a quick point, remember, ideally, if you're ever working on the field, you want the source voltage to be as close to 100% as possible. Just keep that in mind. I don't know why they're asking for 80%, but this is the problem. So for for that to be true, you know that VL has to be equal to 0.8 Vs. So VL is equal to 8 millivolts because you know that Vs is 10 millivolts. So for VL to be equal to 8 millivolts, you know that VL or VO, let's call it VO because we're calling VO in this formula, same thing, VL, is equal to 10 milli, right here, times RL, which is what we're trying to find, RL plus 1K, I'm just rewriting this formula right here, and all of it has to be equal to 8 millivolts, and all you got to do is solve for RL. This basic algebra. So when you solve for RL, you're gonna get that RL is equal to four kilo ohms. And as you can see, the answer is consistent with the one on the book. So final answer, and final answer for all these possible values with these different loads. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.